The Life and Sad Ending of Jenny Rivera Jenny Rivera was born on July 2, 1969, and raised in Long Beach, California, to Rosa Saavedra and Pedro Rivera, who were from Mexico. Her parents raised Rivera and her sister and four brothers in a tight-knit, musical household. Her brother Lupio is also a regional Mexican musician. Rivera spoke both English and Spanish fluently. Her family introduced her to traditional Mexican music, including the genres of banda, norteña, and ranchera. Rivera earned straight as in school until her sophomore year when at 15 she became pregnant with the first of her five children, Jenny Chiquis Marin Rivera. She supported the two of them by selling CDs at flea markets while working toward her GED at a continuation school and graduating as a class valedictorian. Speaking in 2003 of her experiences as a teenage mother, Rivera explained. Usually, when a young girl is pregnant, she drops out of school and concentrates on being a mother. I thought that's what I had to do, but my counselors told me there was no way they would let me drop out. I had too much promise. She attended California State University, Long Beach, and obtained a college degree in business administration, and worked in real estate before going to work for her father's record label. Her father was a bartender and businessman who created the record label Sintis Aquario in 1987, which launched the career of Mexican singer and songwriter Chalino Sanchez. Rivera was introduced to music in 1992 when she recorded as a Father's Day present to her father. She made more recordings and signed to Capital, EMI's Latin division. Her first album, Chacalosa, was released in 1995. At the onset of her musical career, she was told many times she would not make it. At that time and still today, the genre known as regional Mexican music was and is dominated by men. Rivera released her first commercial album with Fonavisa, titled Que Me Entieren Con La Banda, featuring the local hit Las Malandrinas. Rivera stated that she wrote Las Malandrinas to pay homage to her female fans. She also said, the song blew up. People became interested. That's when Jenny Rivera the artist was actually born. In 2001, she released the records Dejate Amar and Se Las Voy a Dar en Otro, which garnered her, her first Latin Grammy nomination for Best Banda Album. She became the first American, born artist to be nominated for the award in 2003. Her 2003 release Homenaje a Los Grandes was a tribute album to female Mexican singers. In 2004, she released her first compilation disc titled Simplemente. La Measure, which became her first record to detonate a chart in the United States. She began to attain more substantial success with the record Perendera, Rebel Day Y Atrevida, released in 2005, which peaked at number 10 on the Billboard Top Latin Albums chart. Since its release it has been certified double platinum in the Latin field by the Recording Industry Association of America. The second single released from the album, De Contrabando became her first and only number, one song to hit the Latin regional Mexican airplay in the United States. It is also said to be one of her most known songs. In 2007, she released M.I. Vida Loca, which debuted at number one on the regional Mexican albums chart and number two on the top Latin albums chart in the United States. The album garnered an award for Regional Mexican Album of the Year at the 2008 Latin Billboard Music Awards. In a 2011 interview with Billboard magazine, she stated, that was more of Jenny telling her story through music. My life has been so put out there by the media that I figured I might as well put it out there myself, in my own words, and through my music. I wanted to clear up speculations about my private life. The album also garnered Rivera her first Lo Nuestro Award for Regional Mexican Female Artist of the Year, an award she would dominate for the rest of her life. The same year she released La Diva en Vivo, a live album that consisted of songs recorded with a mariachi band, which garnered, her second Latin Grammy nomination for Best Ranchero Album. 
Her tenth studio album, Jenny released in 2008, became her first number one record on the Billboard Top Latin Albums chart in the United States. The album led Rivera to win her second Lo Nuestro Award for Banda Artist of the Year, becoming the first female act to win the accolade. A feat that currently stands to date. In 2009, she changed course and recorded her first full mariachi studio album titled La Gran Senora, which garnered a Latin Grammy nomination for Best Ranchero Album. It peaked at number two on the Billboard Top Latin Albums chart in the United States. In 2010, she announced she would be going on tour to promote her album latest album La Gran Senora. At the end of the tour, she released La Gran Senora en Vivo, a live album that consisted of hits in banda and mariachi. It debuted at number 8 on the Top Latin Albums chart in the United States. She recorded the album and became the first artist to sell out two back-to-back -back nights at the Nokia Theater in Los Angeles, on August 6 to 7, 2010. At the concert, she announced she would be recording Joyous Prestatus, which consists of 11 cover versions, with the first album being recorded in Latin pop, while the second was recorded in banda. In December 2012, Rivera was only the third singer to place three albums on the entire top three on the Billboard Top Latin Albums chart with her albums number one La Misma Gran Senora, number two Joyous Prestatus, Pop, and number three Joyous Prestatus, Banda. By early 2013 Rivera had sold some 20 million albums worldwide. On December 11, 2012, two days after her death, Fonavisa Records released La Misma Gran Senora. The album debuted at number one on Billboard's Top Latin Albums Chart, number one on Billboard Regional Mexican Albums Chart, and number one on Mexico's Top 100 Chart. Since her death in 2012, she has earned herself a spot on the Forbes Top Earning Dead Celebrities of 2013, making an estimate of $7 million. Posthumously, Rivera has been awarded two Oye Awards. Posthumously, Billboard magazine named her the top Latin artist of 2013. Her long career included such honors as 20 million albums sold worldwide, making her the highest earning banda singer of all time. Rivera was married three times and had five children. She gave birth to her first child, Jenny, better known as Cheekies, while still in high school. She later married the baby's father, Jose Trinidad Marin, and they had two more children, Jacqueline and Michael, but she ended the marriage in 1992 citing physical and emotional abuse. Rivera married her second husband, Juan Lopez, in 1997. They had daughter Jenica in 1997 and son Juan Angel in 2001 before they divorced in 2003. In 2007, Lopez was convicted of selling drugs. He died from complications of pneumonia while in prison in 2009. Rivera's third husband, baseball pitcher Esteban Loaiza Rivera married baseball player Esteban Loaiza in 2010. They filed for divorce in 2012 just months before her death, but it was never finalized. Rivera died in an air accident in the early hours of December 9, 2012, when the Learjet 25 she was traveling in with six other passengers crashed near Monterrey, Mexico.